Hello my fellow fishing freaks. Welcome to the Tuesday video here at LFG Fishing TV. Uh, normally on our Tuesday videos we do some sort of tip or some sort of action on the water stuff and I got a special little nugget here for you today. Uh, I found the GoPro footage, the lost GoPro footage of me fishing with Dave Mercer. So let me set this up. So Shimano set up this event where we could all come in and, and fish together, collaborators. A lot of the uh, TV guys were there including Dave Mercer and Mark Zona, you know, other YouTubers, uh, Tactical Bassin, John B. And we were all there just kind of collaborating. But it was raining on the first day that we were there. And I had to leave after the second day to go up to Canada to fish with my dad in that awesome Canada trip. So I was kind of in a rush to get out of there and it started raining and I had to store my GoPro somewhere and we were all sitting around the dock and I ended up just putting it in James Elam's boat, the Elite Series Pro, and I forgot about it. I left and the GoPro was still in his boat and I had no idea where it was. Finally, at iCast, he returned that GoPro to me and I had an absolute blast fishing with Dave. Just meeting him, fishing with him, he had me rolling the whole time. Uh, just totally laid back, cool dude, uh, worked so hard. I just, I got a lot of respect for Dave. It was difficult to film with audio equipment and everything. So I just kind of had a GoPro set up in the corner uh, and I had to put it up eventually because of the rain. But we caught a bunch of little fish. Uh, we were fishing around a bridge and they were schooled up and Dave taught me a few things. So I just wanted to show you guys the footage from me fishing with Dave and it was just a, it was just a blast, man. So check it out. Alrighty guys, getting ready to hit the water with Dave Mercer. Now uh, we're gonna do a little a little product testing, a little filming today. Point all the points in the lake is like them. And I'm like, <laughs> so every point on the lake, you think? <laughs> I'm like, yeah. Cold front condition. It wasn't even cold. <laughs> Let's look into about a three or four. It'll give me some, some high hopes here. All right, guys, out on the water with uh, world famous Mr. Dave Mercer. And we're catching small bass on a big bass lake. So Highly specialty. We're trying to show up to the ball game here, but it's mostly just peanuts at this point. Oh, man, there's some like suspended. I know, dude. It's going on. Bad. You might be right with a lipless here. Yeah. Maybe. I got distracted by this jig. That's what I oh was doing. gosh, there's another one. It's a, yep. it's a little guy though. I mean, I'm talking, I'm talking a peanut. <laughs> Ratzilla. It's not often that the lake is. It is the exact opposite of, uh, of Great Lakes. Yeah. Look at that lasagna right there, dude. There you go. I mean, come on. That's right where I got those two bites. All right, guys, we're going to show you. This is what Dave Mercer calls lasagna. You see? That's uh, it's just a bunch of squiggly lines right there. They're actually bass. Lasagna is very tasty. We're hoping for a big meatball in there. Oh, yeah, that was. Knew I was going to get a bite coming through that little deal. Another little peanut jobber there. Just came off the teat. Found the nursery. <laughs> I got a small taste of sturgeon. I really didn't get to fish, you know. I just yeah. now I know why you guys live up there. It's the only thing that keeps you sane, dude. Like honestly, throughout the winter, you're like, what am I thinking? <laughs> Come on, bacon. A little sun out. Get on that piling right there. Fish. <laughs> <laughs> God, I got him. Not play with my phone. Oh, okay. Is that on lipless? Yeah. That was on the bottom? I was just popping it. Okay. I bet you a jigging spoon would do all right here. Yes, sir. Too bad I don't have a giant box when you're sitting in my shop. Shit happening everywhere. Oh, my gosh. Good pop. Whew. That was a good bite. Took my cricket kind of down. I'm jigging it, huh? Dude, that's uh. I like how he ate it though, too. Jeez. Like for a little fish. Is that something you do back home? Yeah. 
Kind of like a uh, buddy blade type deal? Yeah, same deal, basically. It, uh, believe it or not, you know, you go through a pack of fish that uh, with a blade bait or with a spoon, I'll always, almost always, before I leave, I'll come back through with this. There's one. No, 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 not good. Well, at least we're going to sound good. We got like 25 of them. <laughs> I mean, we got to be getting close to it. We're yeah, yeah, no. Fish, we're 20 fish, I don't know. getting there. We caught like 25, most small. I mean, it sounds like a great story. Oh, damn. They are there, huh? Uh -huh. There is one. Kentucky Lake style, I'll get them fired up here. <laughs> Ooh. We got peanut, peanut on the loose. Well, guys, I think we're up to about 25 little knot heads at this point. Combined weight of six and a half pounds. <laughs> Maybe a little. But we are fishing with a lot of other people today. We've probably got, you know, another dozen people out on the water. From what we are hearing, this is the best thing that's going on. So we might we might just embellish a little bit, not really talk about the size. I mean numbers. Numbers. It, it's a lot know, of numbers. Yeah. A lot of action. Have a little Dave do a voiceover of how many fish were caught today. <laughs> you know, catching little fish is never the goal, but catching little fish is better than catching no fish. Dude, they're just there, man. There's a ton of them. I went over a giant, like, puff of bait, and there was all fish under it. Jeez, man. I mean, that's actually really, really small. That, that's really small, yeah. Oh. I may be the new small fish leader. It's the nursery. This is the nursery. I'm learning a new trick here, though, with this uh, lipless vibe here. You never pump it like that? I've tried it and never caught anything on it. If I catch a bunch of fish on a spoon and they stop firing, it may just be mentally for me. You know, I start thinking, okay, I'm throwing something different. So I start throwing it better because I just kind of feel like the fish haven't seen it. So who knows what, why, but it definitely works. Oh, yeah, no kidding. Hello, little guy. Just, just right there, man. Gosh. Big ones Whoa, jeez. Trying to throw the beef, you know. I don't blame you. Get a little beef down there. But me and Dave had a great time. I laughed so hard. I think it's the hardest I've ever laughed fishing with anybody. Um, and I definitely want to try to fish with Dave again. Um, he invited me up to do some smallmouth fishing up on Erie for some huge pig smallies. So I definitely want to try to do that next year. All right, guys, that's it. Thanks for tuning in to this little throwback edition of some footage I was not able to get to uh, earlier. I'm probably gonna do the same thing on the next video. I've got some Florida footage that uh, I wasn't able to get to, me catching my first snook, so that's gonna be awesome. Stay tuned for that. And if you missed this week's vlog of me catching a big fish, me and Stephanie went out on the lake and uh, I figured out a new little hook that I really like, make sure you go check out that video. And also last week's videos of uh, Fishing with the Fish Whisperer and Creek Fishing. Check out those annotation links here at the end of this video. Thanks for tuning in and being a fishing freak. Guys, I'll catch y'all later. There we go. That's a Guadalupe. You can see the broken up lines down here. They don't get very big, but you can only catch these in this central part of Texas. So pretty awesome. Let the little guad go. This guy. Look at the shoulders on this broad. Aggressive little guys. Look at that beast. Look at that 